Ow! F ah! What is going on guys? So I am back. I know it's been an eternity since I last made a video, but we're gonna get straight to the point with this one. Today, we're gonna have a look at my gimbal setup for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K slash 6K. Doesn't really matter, they're practically the same camera, even though the 6K got released just as I got my 4K. I'm not bitter. But, as I said, we're going to be looking at my gimbal setup for the camera. I've got a couple of new bits on here that help make my filming process with this camera a little bit easier and I hope you guys will like the video. So let's go. Oh, okay, jumping into the video straight up. This is the Ronin S gimbal. As standard, the Ronin S comes like this. This is how you hold the gimbal. And whilst it's really good, sometimes you need that extra stability, especially when the camera on top is heavy or you have heavier loads, you wanna spread the weight out. This handle on the side is the Tilter Nucleus M left side handle. This is actually made for the Nucleus M follow focus setup, but fortunately it works with the Nucleus Nano setup, which is the follow focus system that I mentioned in my previous Blackmagic video. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. Whilst functioning as a really nice and comfortable side handle, it has some hidden tricks up its sleeve. On the front here, we have a follow focus knob, which wirelessly controls the follow focus system at the top. Now you guys may be wondering, why have I got a follow focus handle? And the reason is this camera does not have autofocus. So when you're moving around on the gimbal and you need to be changing the distance between the subject and the camera, you need to focus. One thing I love about this handle is the fact that it's attached to a NATO rail. So all I have to do is loosen this little red dial at the top here and it comes straight off, easy for packing. Or if I need someone else to follow focus for me, I can give them the handle and they can focus the camera wirelessly. So the second thing I want to talk about is this little guy right here. This is a 256GB CFast 2.0 card designed and made by Cine Gear Pro. And the main reason why this card is so interesting is the price point. For an equivalent size 256GB card made by SanDisk, you're looking at paying £409, including VAT. But for this card right here, you're looking at paying £238. So the price has literally been slashed in half with exactly the same storage solution and you're still getting 510 megabytes per second of read and write speed which is more than enough for recording 4k and 6k at your lowest compression so i used to have the ssd directly on the top here and it would actually get in the way when i was filming when i was going lower or higher angles and it actually hit the gimbal which is obviously not good for the ssd now recording onto a cfast card has actually been super handy one little thing i do like about this card is the fact that they put the logo directly at the front and then that faces you when you put it into the camera with other cfast cards i actually didn't know which way they went in i had a couple of different ones and you had to like fiddle around and just fit it in and just see which way the card went in but with this card i know that facing the logo directly at me when i'm putting it in means it'll go in perfectly Big ups to the guys at Cine Gear Pro for sending these bits over to me. This video was not sponsored by them. However, I do really, really trust them as a company. I've met the owner. I've met the guys that work in there. They're all super, super cool. So if you're looking for anything like photography or videography based gear wise, so like cages, lights, gimbals, the lot, make sure to check them out. I'll put the links in the description below. And let me know what you guys think of their selection. But that marks the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about this setup or just like filming or anything in general let me know in the comment oh, let me know in the comments section below and hit that subscribe button i'm trying to hit 10 million subscribers um, by next week if i don't uh my mum will beat me i'll see you guys in the next video and until then peace out